Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting often rare and exotic whiskeys, Dingle, Connacht, and Eric. This is Whiskey Base 248632. I'll just read the bottle, the, the box. Um, single malt, triple distilled Irish whiskey, matured in bourbon cask, Cabernet Sauvignon cask finish, product of Ireland, 50.5% ABV. According to Whiskey Base, there's only 3,000 bottles of this. This is part of, this is part six of the Wheel of the Year. Um, Connacht and Erich is basically um, the time in spring where the days are 12 hours night and 12 hours day and so there are going to be here at least um two more of the wheel of the year a little bit left here of my german video just put a little bit more in here for my english video and um this is amazing he went from ten thousand down to seven and a half basically and now they just jumped all the way down to 3,000. Is that due to the availability of casks or is this due to a certain amount of fatigue that whiskey connoisseurs worldwide are having regarding Dingle? I have the feeling it's more fatigue. I don't know about you, but this is the sixth bottle I've bought. This is the sixth bottle I've reviewed. Most of them have had sulfur where it's just like, eh. And even those that don't have sulfur, they're just, I don't think I've had a single dingle wheel of the year where I've gone, yay, it's great. They've always been so, okay, these are experimentations, they're learning what works, they're learning a lot more, what doesn't work, um, Widow Jane casks, rye casks, um, what were some of the other things they had here? Um... I'm just going to try to pull up a few of these here. So they did the uh, Moscatel finish, two years, 10,000 with the um, Zenging. I can't pronounce Gaelic. Um, the X-Rye was there. Um, they had with the La Labrida. That was actually, that was the rye finish itself. Not bad, bad. Um, the... Lou Nasa with the Widow Jane bourbon finish. It's really the question of why do we have that? I should have learned the names again. The Cherez finish, um, B. Altain, probably wrong. So, um, and here we also had the Tony Port finish with 7,800 bottles. So we went from 10,000, 7, 8, down to 3,000. I think that's a lot. All right, so usually I just recommend the Dingle, the single malt. I can get this over here in Germany for um, 40, 45 euros. I very much like this. I think this is great. I like the bottle. I like the, the marketing. I like the straw man on here. I like um, the fact that Dingle does a lot and are doing a lot um and yet my they broke my heart uh graham cole left uh, my partner of my irish whiskey news um podcast uh, used to be a tour guide there left i have the feeling basically that dingles I, I think they put their expansion plans since it was not approved on ice um, I have the feeling that Dingle basically is just keeping its status quo at the moment. I might be wrong. And they're just looking for someone to buy it and turn it into something else. Now, their gin and their vodka, very successful. Their whiskey, yes. But eight or nine versions of the wheel of the year in two years. I'm tired. Not mentally, not physically, but I'm just tired of this. Okay, what am I going to get this time? Is it going to have sulfur? And if I nose this, I get a little bit of sulfur. Now, it's difficult to do good wine finishes. So the Cabernet Sauvignon finish is good, but it's not great. The normal Dingle. Now, here I only have 46.3%. Um, here I have 505 
Two of the Wheel of the Year had 52.5%. They had 2% more. Why? I will never know. Maybe Graham Cole back then said, oh, we need it. Today, I'm getting more sulfur on this than I am on this. There are days that I am highly sensitive to sulfur. There are days where I hardly ever register sulfur. has a lot to do with my well-being, my the things I've eaten, the things I've enjoyed um, during the week or during that day. And today, this has more sulfur than this, which I normally don't pick up. Uh, Glenn Geary, 15-year-old, um, same problem. This is my Diva. Some days it's beautiful, some days the same bottle. Um, it's just sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. And that's me that is the changing, not the whiskey. 50.5%. Yes, definitely a good red wine finish. A little bit of sulfur. Um, think cranberry. Think red currant. Think strawberries not yet ripe. They just announced, Dingle just announced that um, usually June 21st, around that time, there's that next one. Um, they just announced that the next one's Wheel of the Year's coming out. So we're going to have one in the summer, one in the fall, one in the winter, and then they're going to be a special edition. And then they're done. Question on you, question on me. Has anyone collected all of these and just say, hey, here's my collection of Dingle? I'm sure there's people out there. Um, but it's just like, and uh, who is going to buy a complete collection of Dingle in the future? Of the Wheel of the Year. I do not see this. I've said this before. I do not see this as a wise investment opportunity. If you're a Dingle fanboy or fangirl, go for it. Yes. But otherwise, mm. uh, Germany had the eight-year-old uh, single cast, cast strength, sherry and bourbon. The bourbon was so good. The sherry was eh. But also that, I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of sherry again. And sherry again. I would have loved to have a port. I want more dingle with port. Can I ask that? Who knows? So, um, good port finishes. The sulfur for me is at a level today that's perceivable, 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 but not really disturbing. I get a Hawaii punch moment. This is a good whiskey. This is a C to C plus whiskey. I like this. Value for money, recommended retail price over here is 80 euros for no age statement. Um, I do get a little bit of um, youth burn at the end. I'm going to give this a C minus, D plus for value for money. <clears throat> D plus. I would not go out and go buy another one. I might go out and buy just a collection, have it one day and put it away and see what happens. But why? Maybe someone can give me a good reason why. Why to do that? To have a piece of the history of the Dingle Distillery. The normal single malt. Today, I am unfortunately getting more of the sulfur here than I normally ever get. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Ah. Ah. This is sherry and bourbon cask matured. Matured and sherry cask and bourbon casks. Sherry and bourbon casks. Dingle Distillery, no added color, non chilled filtered, everything's on here. Oh, yeah. After I get past a little bit of that moment, that sh wonderful Hawaiian punch tropical moment. Some people have said the, the red gummy bears is what they get here, liquefied. They're different, and yet basically at the same level. This cost about half of this. Always the decision, what are you going to spend your money on? 
What are you going to invest your liver in? What are you going to have for space constraints? What do you want to buy? I would definitely go for the core range on this. If you like a good red wine finish, yeah. Last question. Um, what red wine finished Irish whiskey product has amazed you? What of the um, Wheel of the Year bottlings have you liked? And what do you think about Dingle just in general? Is that a distillery you're following? I have visited them. It was great to spend time with Graham Cole back then. And as I said, it broke my heart a little bit when he left with his wife. And my um, podcast partner is no longer there. And it's just kind of like, oh, I wish them all the best, but, you know. All right. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you can find this, drink a pour. Um, have a pour at a bar. Have a pour at a friend's house before you go out and buy the bottle like it is. Unless you really, really love Dingle and are that fanboy, fangirl. Um, have that attitude. Bye-bye.